Hey guys, welcome to another Lifestar EMS training video. This is going to be MedMath video episode number two. And today we'll be doing micrograms per minute. So this will be non-weight based. So if you are looking for weight based, go back to episode number one. And that one is micrograms per kilogram per minute. So this is the basic calculation that we're going to be working with. The 10 is the micrograms that are desired per minute times the minute, which is 60, and then divided by our concentration. So the first thing we have to do is figure out our concentration. So I'm going to use norepinephrine as an example here. And again, you might have labels that just tell you the concentration. That's great if it's pre-mixed. But if you have to make your own, you might be in a situation like this, where you're taking some milligrams and putting it into fluid. And so all you do is divide your drug by your fluid, and that will give you your concentration. So this example would be four milligrams divided by 250 mLs of fluid, and that'll give you 0.016, or to make it simple, 16 micrograms per milliliter. Here's another example of like an epidrip, and same thing, drug divided by fluid is gonna be concentration. So one divided by 250, one milligram divided by 250 mLs, that's gonna be 0.001 four milligrams, or to make it simple, four micrograms per milliliter. So our second step is going to be to figure out the dose we're going to administer. And there's no real getting around this. You have to use a reference to double check your work. Even if you think you know the dose really well, for patient safety, always use a reference. Step number three is going to be to multiply times our minute. And that'll give us a number that we carry down to the bottom in step number four. Step number four is to take that number and divide it by our concentration. And that will give us our milliliters per hour. That would be what we would set our pump to. So what I recommend is always making a label first. So know what you're mixing. So in this instance, norepinephrine. And then the milligrams you're mixing into it and how much fluid you used. So four milligrams and 250 and then just divide four by 250, write your concentration down, and that way you'll be able to do the rest of your calculation on the calculator. So here's how it would look. Four divided by 250, I'd go ahead and write that down, 16 mics per milliliter at the bottom, and then I can do the rest of my calculation. I want 10 mics per minute divided by my concentration, and there's my milliliters per hour. So again, if you're having trouble remembering how these go, it's just usually how it's said. 10 mics per minute of norepinephrine, and there's your concentration down there on the bottom. So now that this is the time to pause the video and see if you can do these calculations on your own, and I will check back in a minute. Okay, so how did you guys do? So this is the last chance to pause the video, and there are the answers. So if you did good, if you got all of them right, good job. You just learned a new calculation. If not, and you had some trouble with these, go back in the video and try to figure out where you went wrong. I want to draw some attention to the calculation on the bottom left. 1,000 times 60 divided by 1,000 equals 60 milliliters per hour. It seems kind of silly. Because if you think about it, this would be one milligram per minute and the concentration would be one milligram per milliliter. So the reason I put that up there is to show you that you can use this calculation to do milligrams per minute as well. And you could even simplify it. You don't have to put it in thousand uh, micrograms. You could just write, you know, one milligram times 60 divided by however many milligrams were in each milliliter. So either way, it doesn't matter which way you do it. Uh, if you use the thousands of micrograms or if you just use the milligrams, it's going to turn out the same either way. So play with that calculation a little bit. Uh, that'll come in handy. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. If so, please subscribe to the Lifestar channel and like the video. Stay tuned for MedMath video number three, which is going to be fluid over time. And then after that will be our units per kilogram per hour. So I'll see you guys next time. 
The universe works on a math equation that never even ever really even is in an end. Infinity spirals out.